This lesson is going to focus on area of a circle. We're going to talk about all shapes, no matter what they are, always come back to base times height. Now, all of you are familiar with the rectangle. Now, sometimes we'll use different terms instead of base. On a rectangle, we'll use length times width, which is essentially the same as base times height. If I took a parallelogram, then all of a sudden things change a little bit. Here's my base and my height. Come in right here. So there's my height, and here's my base. Now, a triangle still has the same idea. So here's an equilateral triangle. If I arrange these other pieces, I have my rectangle. And if I flip them and put them inside my triangle, you can see how the area formula for a triangle comes out. It is half of base times height because I actually have two identical triangles and this applies for any kind of triangle. So how does this apply to a circle? If I started with a circle There's my shape. I can pull any shape apart and reorganize the pieces, or in a circle's case we call them a sector. Oops. You can see that we're developing this very close the shape of a parallelogram. And if I cut it, this would become my base, and this is my height. Now, if I cut these sectors into smaller pieces, I would see my parallelogram starting to take a form more like a rectangle. Okay. So then our next step would be, okay, what part of the circle is this? And what part of the circle makes up the base? And that will be developed in another lesson. 